Welcome back to the light side of the internet. Have you ever felt like an NPC? Like you're just part of someone else's story? Do you ever wonder who the main character actually is? Well, wonder no more because I actually found the main character. Drum roll, please. It's me. I'm the main character. You see this name? That's my name. And this is my show. And nobody, I say it again, nobody is gonna steal my thunder. intro, I guess. While main characters have seemingly taken over the internet, there are none that rival TikToker, YouTuber, and kick streamer Natalie Reynolds. Not the dancing pancake lady, not cringy quirky millennials, not even the 10 year olds at Sephora. Yes, I actually found someone who is worse than middle schoolers from Calabasas. But I love our don't have a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Natalie Reynolds is like the final boss of main characters. The main eest of characters. Funky Frogbait actually made a video on her about nine months ago. So the fact that she's still doing this nine months later just proves to me that we're all still stuck in the same nightmare of a simulation that was 2023. The balloon was just a warning, guys. Get me out of here. Natalie's chronic main character syndrome, which is medically known as MCS, seems to be the worst type of MCS in my entire two month career on YouTube. Her type of MCS is the clout chasing goblin type of MCS. These types of characters seem to thrive on being as obnoxious as possible in as many locations as possible, such as classrooms nail salons, even Home Depots? I'll hit him with one of these. Uh? Can you take pictures of my real quick? Sure. Really? It's already recorded and ready to go. All you have to do is angle it towards my Wow. Thank you. Love you, daddy. We need associates to paint aisle. No, it's not paint. I think someone was trying to take a shit. And the cream of the crop, or rather the scraps of the leftovers of these TikToks is this one. So quick story time. Last year I was on a plane flight to London. It was a 12 hour red eye flight, which I was supposed to be sleeping for the entire time. And right in front of me, there was a crying baby. While I'm extremely grateful for having the privilege of being able to take a solo trip to Europe, I, I don't think I can properly express how excruciating it was to sit next to the bathrooms and a one-year-old throwing a temper tantrum for 12 straight hours. And let me tell you, I would have preferred to do that two more times than having to watch this in person for even a second. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. We will now be turning off the cabin lights. <sighs> Finally. What the? How much longer do we have on this flight again? The local time is 1.30 a.m. and we will arrive in London in 12 hours. Yeah, fuck this. An Alaska Airlines flight was forced to make an emergency landing after a portion of the plane blew off in mid-flight. And I did. I did it two more times. There were twins on the return flight. So I guess that not only did Natalie decide to terrorize these passengers on the plane, not only did Natalie decide to harass these passengers on the plane, she decided to carry on the fun at the baggage claim. Like, what's good, TSA? Your one job is supposed to be catching terrorists. And she was terrorizing my vacation. Also, why is her default position to squat like she's taking a dump? I thought goods in the airport were supposed to be duty-free. <laughs> Like any good main character, Natalie is out here trying to complete all the side quests. She actually has a channel where she posts Mr. Beast style YouTube videos. How many licks does it take to finish the world's biggest gummy bear? We started licking but weren't making any progress. Throughout the day, we spent countless hours licking, but it was getting harder and harder. This is so hard. Our tongue began hurting, but that wasn't getting so my next video is gonna be on YouTube Shorts. I, I have a lot of questions here. Why didn't they color coordinate? The girl on the right here is clearly trying to coordinate with a worm and Natalie here is just ruining the vibe. Natalie, come on. If you wanna be Mr. Beast, you gotta get with the program. Chop Chop. Chop Chop is also definitely what they did to the worm because claiming that they licked that entire thing is bullshit. 
or worm shit. Worm shit being what probably came out of her at Home Depot. Why is it blue? That goes to the paint aisle. And lastly, are you telling me they walked all around town touching door handles and touching store shelves all while licking the worm? Because that's fucking disgusting. Almost as disgusting as not hitting that subscribe button. I guess I shouldn't really be surprised because doing disgusting stunts is kind of in Natalie's repertoire. She actually recently got into some hot water because she pulled a prank on an entire gym by wearing nothing but spray painted on pants. If you don't have clothes on, you need to be out of here. I do have clothes on. Go closer. He's saying you need to leave. He's not if any of you have ever been in the vicinity of a gym, you'll understand that this is the opposite of clean girl aesthetic. This is dirt girl aesthetic. The only prank that's being pulled here is on her immune system. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. What's up? She's not wearing pants. Okay. So? It's not like she wears pants anyways. No, no, but like, this time we're in a gym. Did you just say the gym? Yes, the gym. You, you mean the place where people go to sweat and all the surfaces are sticky and covered with workout juice? That's the one, huh? Um, okay, evacuate. Was that too many poop jokes? I feel like that was too many poop jokes. I'm sorry, I I'll promise I stop, I shit you not. Evidently she caught a bit too much flack for this because she started going on Twitter throwing an absolute temper tantrum, claiming that everyone was treating her unfairly and that she was actually wearing bathing suit bottoms, which, even if that were the case, and I really hope that was the case, how does that make anything better? I wasn't actually naked. I only wanted to seem like I was actually naked. Why are you so mad? I'm so puzzled. She made another post about a guy who kind of did the same prank of wearing spray painted on clothes, saying that everyone is treating her unfairly even though this guy did it, which is like the most three-year-old argument I've ever heard. If this guy jumped off of a cliff, would you do it too? Come on, Natalie, you could be a better main character than that. It's giving NPC energy. Okay. On top of that, she made another post comparing what she wore to what bodybuilders wear when they're competing on stage. They're the same picture. The problem with this argument was that they were on stage and she's in a gym, which is a distinction that I could probably forgive her for missing because the entire world is actually her stage. I'm sorry, who are you? You can't do that here. You have to put some clothes on. <laughs> Why not? When people do this at a strip club, it's body positivity, but when I do it here, like, you just shame me? This is an elementary school. It's the same thing. So, just taking a little perusement of all her content, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that this is a funnel for her OnlyFans. I'm just kidding, that wasn't a guess. This is a content funnel for OnlyFans. I personally have nothing against people who have OnlyFans. I'm all for people getting their bags. That's why you see ads in my videos. Get ready to raid. Oh, hell no, dude. I told you to keep away from this channel, you stay away! But considering the Mr. Beast-esque style shorts, what I am personally against is that Natalie's content funnel also seems to be targeted at children. And last I checked, children shouldn't have subscriptions to OnlyFans. But I don't think she comprehends the idea of age restriction, because during her street interview era, she was actually asking kids about corn stars. If you can name this actor, I'll buy whatever you want. Lana Rhodes. Lana Rhodes? Okay, I'll buy whatever you want. Where do you want to go? You want to go in here? How do you know who that actor is? Do you watch her a lot? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he said yes very confidently. Uh, this might be a hot take, but I don't think it's a good idea to encourage children to consume corn. One second they're eating corn on the cob, and the next second they're getting lost in cornfields and going to their local home goods store to buy corn decorations. Thanksgiving decor in January? That's just... That's just corny. <laughs> Deli, go! Go! This was posted mid-December, which is on the ass end of final season. And let me tell you, if I saw this at my 8 a.m. after pulling an all-night study sesh, um, I would want to f***ing die.
Waking up in Dante's seventh layer of hell would be preferable to whatever this is. I'm paying 35 grand a year for an education, not to see the saddest slip and slide ever created. If I did want to pay 35 grand for that, I would have just rented a penthouse on the Costa Concordia. At least I would have had a free snorkeling session too. Could you imagine being the overworked and underpaid professor that was lecturing that day? Yeah! <laughs> Nelly, go! Go! It's five years sober. Come on, Modine! Let's make it an extra. She also does this super quirky thing where she pretends to be Ryan Reynolds' daughter because her last name is Reynolds and via the transitive property, she's obviously Ryan Reynolds' daughter. Look, I'm a math guy and something's not adding up here. Their face shapes. They aren't shaping. Just because my name is Ray, doesn't mean I'm literally a ray of sunshine. I am, but it isn't because of my name. If your last name is Reynolds, does that mean you're Saran Wrap? All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I would like to thank each and every single one of you for helping us all get to 7,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. I appreciate all your kind words, and you guys are honestly just fucking amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.